Dachshund have very endearing traits, but they have frustrating habits as well. You need to understand what makes your Dachshund tick, so you know what to expect. Some of those behaviors can get on your nerves, and they are one of the more stubborn breeds of dogs. Yes, they bark and bark and bark. In Germany, they bred the Dachshund to be a hunting dog to sniff out prey, such as the badger and other animals. The barking of a hunting Dachshund helps alert the hunter to the dog's location, above ground or especially below. Barking and howling are their ways of communication and get their pack to come to their location where they are at. This is one reason why a Dachshund that is left alone will bark. Plus, barking is a way to warn their owners about strangers approaching. Don't get a Dachshund if you demand silence. But just because it's natural doesn't mean you have to let your Dachshund bark excessively. Since they were bred to hunt into vermin that are underground, the Dachshund will love to dig out prey. Digging is a natural and adaptive behavior. Like most dogs, Dachshunds love to chew, so they will look for things like shoes, furniture, and pillows. It is most important to get them chew toys so they have something always to chew on. Dachshunds sniff. Dachshunds were hound dogs that were bred to sniff out prey. They have an amazing nose that can detect scents. Dachshunds guard. Wild canines naturally protect their resources, whether food, territory, or offspring. Then, through breeding into domesticated Dachshunds, they then become protectors of their human family. This inbred guarding was an important trait for the breed. Dachshund like to be kings and consider everything in sight to be theirs. But this possessive nature can be troublesome if your dog starts guarding things from you. That is when guarding goes overboard. Dachshunds bite, or can bite. Dachshunds hunt, fight, and protect themselves with their teeth. They normally don't bite unless they are threatened or scared. You will need to be careful if you have young kids as they can come at them playing too aggressively and the Dachshund might bite. Dachshunds fight. Dachshunds were bred from a culture of both cooperation and competition. They will want to show dominance with other dogs to show they are leader of the pack. Of course, not every encounter results in a fight. They communicate their aggressive intentions with growls, stares, rigid posturing, and direct confrontations, all of which give the other dog a chance to back down. Dachshunds mount other dogs, and not at all sexual. Again, some of this behavior is showing dominance, or sometimes this behavior may play a similar role as play fighting and play hunting, preparing the pup for adult behaviors. As hunters, Dachshunds are likely to roam and hunt. However, unless you have a fenced yard or live on hundreds of acres, this means wandering into roads and neighbors' yards. Dachshunds hunt. Dachshunds search out, follow, and kill prey. That's what they were bred to do. They'll chase cats, trail rabbits, and dispatch rodents given half a chance. So, you want to make sure you have them on a leash so they don't go off chasing another animal. You also want to watch them if you let them out in your fenced backyard, as they might start sniffing and digging into the yard after a mole or other animal they consider prey. When you are in the house with your Dachshund, especially puppies, be sure to watch them so they don't go after your shoes, furniture, pillows, or other items they may want to chew on. Make sure to give them chew toys and rawhide to chew on. Dachshunds steal. It's not that they are kleptomaniacs, it's that they evolved as hunters and scavengers. 
Anything you leave unguarded is fair game and may end up in their mouth. Good thing Dakshuns are small as they have limited reaching ability, so your kitchen counters are safe. However, if you leave food on a table and there is a chair, your Dakshun could jump up on the chair and from there jump up on the table. I had a birthday party one time and left the cake on the table and as my family and I were out in the living room I heard some munching and went out to look and our male Dachshund jumped, jumped onto the chair then onto the table and had his mouth on the birthday cake. So be careful that you don't leave food on the table, a coffee table, or anywhere your Dachshund may find a way to get at it. The Dachshund is a scavenger and if you have a kitchen trash can, they will think that it's a scavenger hunt just for them. Your best bet is to keep the trash can under the sink. Dogs are pack animals, and it's instinctive for them to join in whatever you or your family is doing. So they will not be happy if you shut them in another room. They will get anxious and might bark, scratch at the door, chew, or maybe even pee to be let out. Your Dachshund will want to be in the room where you or another family member is. That doesn't mean your Dachshund can't learn to be alone, but when you are home, you want to make sure they can be in the rooms with you. I would recommend having two Dachshunds to keep each other company if you do have to leave the house for any length of time. Licking is a natural dog behavior. Dogs lick one another as an appeasement gesture. When your Dachshund licks at your face when you return home, he's not so much giving you sugar as acknowledging your leadership. Just because Dachshunds have these natural tendencies to act in ways we may not like, doesn't mean we have to accept those behaviors as being unchangeable. It just means that you need to be aware that the changes won't always be easy. You will need time, patience, and the right training. The positive traits of adoption are that they are one of the most loyal, lovable dogs you will ever have. 